giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone, and Shalom, and Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, Barakadama, to you, Sir Aki, on this preaching this word in sincerity and truth. All right, we just hit uh, this, the, San, this is a couple of the San Francisco Bay Area uh, camp brothers, you know, just coming back coming back with another in transit lesson on the way to camp, you know. So we're just going to hop in the spirit and Lord's will just be edifying, you know, we're just going to let the spirit flow. Go ahead, I'll give it. It is uh, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah, you shouldn't make tearing to turn to the Lord. You shouldn't be putting off the day to day. You shouldn't be uh, basically procrastinating with the Lord, you know. Like the Lord is always going to be there. Like like that's always that's always an option you can come to. Like, oh, well, the Lord's going to be there, you know, I'm going to go off and do this and do that. You should make Terry in, man, because especially in the, in the times that we're in, and, and especially the power that you're dealing with, you know, the Lord, the Lord is about to, um, about to move on Babylon. He's about to even move on two thirds of his own people, man. Got it. You know, I got it. Like he's about to move. He's about to move on the body. Yeah. 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 Ultimately, he's about to move on the body because what does the scriptures, what does the scriptures say that the um, judgment must, yeah. for, must start? At the house of the Most High, basically. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, this um, this Proverbs 21 and 25, the desire of the slothful kill of him, mm. for his hands refuse to labor. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Bring that out again. Ooh. Proverbs 21 and 25, good. the desire of the slothful kill of him, for his hands refuse to labor. Because the desire of the slothful is is to please the flesh, not the spirit, man. All right. So, so you feed it, you feed it, you, you, you're giving more into the flesh, like Galatians, the sixth chapter, that's my favorite, that's one of my favorite scriptures, you know, the most high is not mocked, all right, if you sow into the flesh, you're going to reap corruption, go and ahead, I, I, was, I looked up the word, like, you know, slothful and slugger, they're basically synonymous with each other, yep. and I looked up the definition for the word uh, slugger, and it basically is somebody who's hab habitually inactive, mm. right? Ooh. so when you habitually do something, you're, you continually do it, like, all the time, it's like a regular routine, like, you do it all literally all the time so you're never doing anything yeah that's that's the spirit because um you called did a video on that before man it's, it's basically i forgot i forgot off the top of my head what it's called but um um, um it's it's basically about setting a routine for yourself man yeah, that's a, right. yeah. a schedule standard. a standard ultimately all right man I, I shoot to do this i shoot to do that you know we, and then you may fall short of the standard that you set yet you always set out to, to hit it you know and it should be a, a daily standard, not just, not just like you know, or, or a month or a year, like a weekend, a weekend Israelite, a weekend Israelite, or a New Year resolution type of bullshit standard, man. Like this should be all the damn time, man. You know, hey, just like it says, examine yourself, test yourself, prove yourself, man. Set a standard for yourself, man. Set some, set some goals for your damn self, you know. You gotta, you gotta have pretty much like a regular routine, just yeah. like anything in the world has that that same uh, tactic. Like you go to work, they don't they don't just be bullshit. They got a set standard routine that they follow to get the job done. You know? And when you set when you set towards it, you start you start like it, it starts to become routine because you, all right all right every you you you, you, get, you get accustomed to doing it. Like, all right, cool. Today I did. I, I want to do this. I want to do that. I knocked it out. And then you you feel you feel like you you at the end of the day you feel like. Like you've um um been Accom productive, yeah, yeah. been productive. You're accomplished. You, you feel good about yourself in the spirit, you know. You're like, okay, cool. I took care, you know. I took care of business, you know. Now and bring that. I want you to bring that out one more time as well, Sean. Yeah. If, if you brothers want to add anything. Yeah, I got. I got. When yeah. you bring that out, I got another scripture that okay. tie into that All right. for you. It's Proverbs 21 and 25. The desire of the slothful kill of him, for his hands refuse to labor. Yeah. So, so we get to a point where you just like, fuck it. I don't even want to work. You're doing the bare minimum to the point where you don't even want to do the bare minimum. He's like, damn, I don't, I don't, I just want to chill. I just want to be around my family. You just want to do whatever that's that's pleasing, that's a pleasing into the flesh, you know, and to the point where you're you're slowly killing the spirit, your spirit, and, and the, the Lord really the whole time the Lord is slowly pulling the spirit away from you. You don't even know it. You're not on guard. You're not holding fast like the Lord say, hold fast with that has. You just letting it letting it go, you know, thinking it's always gonna be there. Hey, you, hey, man, not not appreciating it, you know. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus seven and, and uh, fifteen. Hate not laborious work, yeah. neither husbandry, which the Most High has ordained. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if I can say something, yeah. labor, la laborious, or you can say laborious. All right, when you go into that word, you go into etymology means hard work. 
Okay, husbandry. All right, uh, we're 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 also husbands. Okay, uh, meaning farmers. Yeah. We're out there sowing a seed. Okay, what does the scripture say? It says that um, Paul planted and Apollo watereth, yeah, but the Most High giveth the increase. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now, man. We're out there planting. We're out there watering. And then the Most High, He's gonna give the increase. He's the one that's making things grow. He's the one that's making things happen. So it says, uh, hate not. Laborious work, man. You got to get them hands dirty. You got to put in overtime. Niggas put in overtime to get extra checks at work. Why don't you put in overtime to get extra riches? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, you you tired? So what? You're tired. Ask ask Yah Bashimah Shah for strength. Ask ask him to, to to keep you going. Okay. So you ain't supposed to hurt, uh, hate working. And niggas are niggas hate working, man. Ultimately, we I hate working too. Everybody hate we we cause we're kings and we're priests. Okay. But we're not we're not in that we're not in our glory right now we're we're in the time of putting in major work why because it says that this gospel shall be preached into the whole world okay and then shall the end come so how how is the end going to come by us preaching you see that so there's incentive to push the word meaning the, the prophecies are going to speed up okay and the, and the lord said what the uh the laborers are few, a few but the harvest is plenty Got something it. to that effect you know it's tying in what you're saying because this is the word you know it's the work we were ordained, we were ordered to do. If we, hey amen, if we are true, which we believe ourselves to be for the apostle and letters on down, of that hopeful elect, man, this is what we were, we were predestined to do. This is what we were created to do. Hey amen, this is what we were set out to do, ultimately. And to overcome all this, all these distractions, man, really. All these, all these, 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 these lustful demons, all right, whatever is appeasing to the flesh, getting comfortable, getting complacent, you know, ultimately, Getting that spirit of, of, of falling back and falling off, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah more on that. That was it, bro. Okay. Got it. Uh, uh, this is Hebrews 6 and 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Yeah, that's the desire, man. If, 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 if from the apostle elders on down, they're giving their, their full strength and they're, and they're getting older, man. Yet they're getting young. They're they're still young and, and, and youthful in the spirit. All right? all right. You know, fuck the flesh. Okay. So if everybody, hey, if if, if all the, the brothers that's putting, that's really giving their all and putting putting forth their their best work, they're giving it, man. They desire that of you. That's why the apostles and the elders starting with them. Get, hey, man, going hard. Like, man, what the hell is y'all doing? I'm doing this. You, cause well, how would you feel at a job? You you giving you giving your all, but the rest of your team ain't even picking up the load. You know. You get mad. You get hella mad. And especially guys that just came in. Oh man. They've been in it for how long and they they more on fire than younger brothers, man. You you must be out of your goddamn mind. Yeah, really? Great. You should be, man. You you should hey, you should be great. The Lord got you in. You came in at the last hour. Yep. Literally. Yep. You didn't have to labor. You didn't have to go out there and labor hmm. when it wasn't when it when it didn't seem like it was convenient when nobody was uh, uh watching, nobody was listening. I hear this brothers waking up. You got the Israelite foreigners coming in. Or you got the internet just going going crazy because of the videos. All right, you, you see the prophecies coming to pass, and your ass is just your ass is just sitting down, twiddling your thumbs. All right, you should be on fire for this word, man. The fuck are you do? What the fuck are you niggas doing, man? You should be you should be pumped up. You should you should see that all the prophecies are coming to pass. And the Lord said, "Behold, I come quickly." Yeah. He gonna take your ass by surprise, guys that are in GMS, okay? That that are lackadaisical, that don't want to work, or that, that that ultimately don't have a spirit on them, man. All right, if you're not working, you don't have a spirit on you. But that's really what it comes down to. And you're not and you're not praying, you're not fasting, you're not staying active. Are you playing with your kids? You know, you dealing with your woman, you're that demon. The Lord gonna cold stone kill a lot of you niggas, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's just the way that it is. Uh, just, precept, the manana, one, uh, the yeah. was it verse twelve? Like okay. Verse three. All right, go ahead. If it's cool, Jake. Hey, go ahead. Uh, verse twelve, that she be not slothful. Slothful. All right. Word again. Yep. yep. You see that? Slothful. All right, it's all about it. The, the Lord said labor. Pretty much, you have to uh, labor into rest. Okay. Yep. Okay. In the book of Hebrews. Yep. Same. I, I, I thought it was. I thought he was bringing that part. Okay. Out. You about to, you about to bring that? Is in it six? In it's in six. I think it or is in six. If it, I don't think. Go, go, go ahead. Keep going. Just keep going. Oh, but uh, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Fo followers of them, from our apostles on down, through patience, man, to make hard. Okay. It like like. Like the Apostle Paul said, be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. That's right. And that's what the apostles are doing, man. Starting with the, the Apostle Tahar on down, man. You know, you should follow, you should follow the examples. Because they are examples unto the flock, man. You know? 
Hey, bro, what verse are you in? Uh, verse 12. Okay, can you go to uh, Hebrews real quick? Hebrews 4? Yeah, I figured, yeah, yeah, I figured you wasn't in the right chapter. Hebrews 4 and 11. Uh, yep. Hebrews 4 and 11. Let, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. So we have to work and then we rest. Uh, and that, and that, that, that's, I mean, that's, cl that's plain as day, man. That's plain as day. Yep. All right. Uh, get, um, get Acts 14 and 22 real quick. Because look, we're going to suffer great things. We're going to suffer a lot of afflictions. Yeah. But we got to continue to work, man. We got to continue to push out these videos. We got to continue to link up in the spirit and push out the spirit of America going down. Not not linking up or our, 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 our being being buffoons. Okay, watching, watching sports, which you can do that. But the first and foremost goal is to push this word as much as possible. This word should be on your spirit. You should be hiding the spirit. All right, you should be constantly putting up videos. You should be constantly meditating. You should be constantly praying. Okay, fasting if need be. Okay, go ahead, bring that out. And um, at least any man Acts fall. You oh, you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Continue that in Acts fourteen twenty two. At least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Huh? At least any man fall after the same example of unbelief because a guy that's not uh, uh, active, a guy that doesn't believe, that he's, he doesn't have belief ultimately. Which yeah. that belief goes into that diligence, faith. Uh, diligence. Okay. You see that the uh, the faith, your faith is going to be shown forth by your works. Yep. And how, and how, and what are the works? Okay, not just going out on the highways and hedges, which that you that's ne that's necessary. That is a commandment. Also, your works throughout the day. This this word can be preached. This word can be pushed. Okay, you you can do videos. All right, there's countless prophecies. There's countless breakdowns that need to be op that need to be opened up. All right, the, uh, a lot of the Israelite foreigners are about to come in. Okay, you see that a lot of the Israelite foreigners are about to come in. This is the time. This is a time that all the ancient prophets, they wanted to be in this time. Y'all right, can you bring that out? Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to, yep. Acts 14, 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples. Confirming the, the, full, the souls of the disciples. So this is what the apostles were doing. All right, and we are the disciples. Okay, go ahead. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. Continue in the faith. Continue in your belief. And not fall out because of your unbelief. And a, and, and a, a, a clear sign that you can tell that a guy that's not, that, that's not, that doesn't have that belief is that he's not doing anything. He's not speaking habitually and active. Beautiful. He's not. He's not speaking. The, the scriptures talk about refraining not to speak. Yeah. I I, I believe and so and I've therefore, spoken. Yep. Therefore I've spoken. Yep. 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 Yeah. It says uh, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Much tribulation and, and part of that tribulation is is working, because working is tribulation, man. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Uh, that that word in there in the Greek is thripis, okay, which means a uh, uh, pressure, okay, which means afflictions, uh, tribulation, all that. So pressure on each side, both sides. So pre pressure, pressure from the spirit too, you know. Uh, that's it on that. Brothers can bring out whatever you, you know what I mean. Okay, go ahead. It's uh, okay, okay, okay. Ecclesiastes nine and ten. Whatsoever thy hand find him to do, do it with with thy might. So you gotta go crazy. You gotta, you gotta do whatever with, with all your might. And now, our hand is put into the plow. The spirit. Uh, our, our hand. The Lord has put, the Lord has put them, um, the instruments in our cost. hands. Okay. He has put a net in our hands. Okay. He has put the, uh, uh, uh he has given us an ox to till the ground. He has given these, these laborious tools. Okay. Now he said, hey, look, do the work. Here, I'm gonna give you this prize. Here, do this, do that. All right, we agreed to it. Now it's time to keep going crazy. Okay, that's what we put our hands. Not going to college. Not trying to build up something here in this kingdom. Go ahead. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where thou goest. Yeah. So you, so you can't, you can't do anything when you're in the spiritual world. Okay. You can't, you can't, you can't uh, 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 push this work if you're dead. So you, you have to fight for the Lord until death. To the Lord requires the spirit, you continue to work. Bottom line. And that's the only reason we're here is to is to do the work of the Heavenly Father. You know, that's the full that's the full duty of man. And what did Paul say? He said he desired to be in the in, in the spiritual realm, basically to not be here or to be close with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yet he know that uh, for him to be here is uh, is to further edify the the, uh, the body. God. You know, to do the work. And that's like the other scripture we brought out where it says, "Let us labor to enter into that rest." Cause we supposed to just be we supposed to be working constantly until we are we working to get that rest. Yeah, it, it just it's like it. Oh, yeah. So like we, you 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 don't like if you being lazy and everything, 
you you supposed to get your rest in the kingdom, man. Not right now. It may be times where you ain't getting no sleep. All right. Fuck some sleep, man. You can get some sleep in the kingdom. Niggas say that, man. Hey, yeah, man. they'll go hard yep. for money. Money, money don't, money don't sleep. I'll sleep when I die. Yep. That's, that's their mentality and weakness, man. You know, to get some, to get some, uh, uh some riches that that don't, that don't even uh, measure up to the. It's not real money, okay, and it's gonna perish. Yeah. So what more us, man? For the real labor, for the real riches, you know. But if you're like the scriptures say, where your where your treasures are, that's where your heart gonna be. So really, you're just exposing yourself that you you're setting your treasures upon earth. Yeah, your heart's you not wanna, in this. Yeah, your heart's not in it. Yeah. Because if your heart was in it, that's where you would be. That's what you would be focused on, and, and, and it would be showing it. through your actions. Mm -hmm. You got them another talk? Yeah, I got a few of them. This is uh, <laughs> Second <laughs> Peter's one and ten. Yep. Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. That's right, man. Going back to what uh, this brother brought out earlier about laboring to get into that rest, man. And not, not falling like the examples of, of those who have fallen. You know, there's a, there's a, yeah, of unbelief. They lost faith. All right. You know, so so us seeing those examples, and, and, and I know I don't want to be one of those examples. I don't want to be like them, these bugged out niggas. I know I, I, I would trust that, that. Brothers, brothers that I, I actually see the spirit on, you know, they don't want to be like that. All right, so so we have to we have to continue to exhort each other. We have to continue to fight, pray, fast, do do what's required of us, man, to to to, to get the fuck out of here, Lord's will, you know. Okay. This is another one. This is Luke chapter fourteen verse twenty eight. Well, I started twenty seven. And whosoever doth not bear his cross. And come after me cannot be my disciple. Yeah, yeah you gotta pick yeah. up that burden, man. Don't be scared. Hey, all that might. Yeah, man, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna weigh on you, you know. Hey, man, we gonna, we gonna get beat up. Yeah, we have, we have Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakodash to strengthen us, man, daily. Yeah, Everything we act, act, learn, lean. He said, the Lord said, put your burden upon me. Yeah. The Lord's mm. giving us the burden. He said, hey, put it upon me. Mm. And then we carry, we, we we carry each other burdens, bro. We we we're a total body in this thing, man. So, so really, the Lord leave it to where it's, it, you have no excuse whatsoever, God. you know? Mm -hmm. It says, for which of you intending to build a tower, yeah. sit if not down first yeah. and count of the cost, whether he have uh, sufficient to finish it. Yeah, so so did you did you sit down? You All that time, you like chilling and shit, did you actually sit down and take the time out to, to, call, to count, count the cost? Like, hey, do, do I have enough, enough strength, patience, faith in me, might in me, you know? Can I, do I have enough uh, temperance in me? Do I have enough discipline? Can I actually can I actually do this, man? Now you just motherfucker hype you up for a quick. Woo, yeah, you can do it. And then you make a dumbass decision. You're like, fuck, I should have did this. You know? You hate you actually hate laborious work. Mm -hmm. And you you wanted to try to say you talk, telling everybody you about to you about to build up. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're about to build up. Talking your shit. Yeah, you big yourself up. But then yeah. the whole time you actually hate to labor. Your hands refuse to labor. You so, talk yourself into something you can't get out of. You know, yeah. Talking all that, yeah, man. I'm about to do this and that. And now everybody watching, like, all right. What? This, this ain't like something in the world where you could just you could just leave, you know, just dust it off and say whatever. No, the Lord gonna get you, man, cause you you put your hand to the plow and then you just you just left the work. You just dropped everything and said you quit. It ain't it ain't like a regular job when you're working for Esau. You just quit and go get another job. No, nah, ain't no other job. You quit this, and you you dying. It's death. Yeah, you supposed to um, you're supposed to drop everything for this troop. What did the uh the what did the uh, the apostles do? Straight the away. disciples, yep. the disciples that were later uh, called apostles, when they heard this word, they dropped everything, man. Yep. All right, it was what? Let's go. And that's the spirit that you gotta be in for this work, man. Yep. You gotta be able, you gotta be ready to drop everything. You gotta be at a spit. You you know we got we still work, we still do that, man. But you gotta be, hey man, ready to go. Okay, that's the spirit that you gotta be in, man. Yep. All right, you not in that spirit, the Most High He gonna take that spirit away from you. And you gotta be ready to leave Babylon at any given call. You know, you can't be like Lot's wife, man. You got to be ready to go, like this brother said. Yeah, not even thinking about looking back. Don't have shit yeah. here. That Don't hold shit here near and dear other than this word, man. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth nor rust do not corrupt. Yeah. So you're supposed to put your mindset in the things that you you can't see. Because everything that we see in the flesh is going to be d done away with, you know? Because yeah. the reward that we're going to receive is so great, we can't even fathom in our minds what the Most High God prepared for us that love them. So that's what that's what we fight for, you know. We ain't just doing this, just, just just brothers getting together to speak, just to hang out. No, we doing this for an actual reward, you okay. know, for the for rulership. 
and and the reward that we're going to receive is we can't even man we ain't doing shit man you we don't deserve we literally don't even deserve it yep. we we literally don't even deserve what you have shai is going to give to us in scripture talk about that man yep. uh romans 8 and 18 man and um what did it say after you, after you did all this Say that I am in prop, 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 I and, did that which was commanded woo, me to do. And that word, we don't deserve it. So like it. And that so word uh, unprofitable me without uh of no of no use, man. Come on, man. The Lord don't need us. He said our, our righteous works is at fifty rags. Mm -hmm. The Lord's doing this for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. Dumb niggas. Yeah. Alright? The Lord's doing it so he can put his name on on the top. Yeah. Alright, y'all was shot his name on top. It ain't for your glory. We just gonna inherit it just it's because by the fault, by the fault man. We joint heirs. That's yeah. you know what I mean? Cause Yahweh Shai, cause we are Lord's will, we are a part of that first number. Mm -hmm. If this is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, he gave all judgment, he gave all glory into what? Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, he could have just he could have just hey man, I'm gonna be selfish, I'm gonna just do my own thing. Yahweh Shai, he died for our sins. So we can receive that kingdom. Yep. Okay? Oh, you got a precept? Yeah, I got a precept about this. this pretty much this is happening so the name of the Heavenly Father can be exalted on the earth. Done. Ezekiel 36. And, uh, I started, oh, I started, uh, uh, 20 Ezekiel 36 and 20 and when they entered oh, unto the you know, heathen where did they went they profane my holy name when they said to them these are the people of the Lord and are going forth out of his land but I had pity for my holy name I had pity for my holy name because we polluted the we polluted the Lord a name man and he placed his name upon us man so so if you put your if you put your stamp on something, man, even even if you like, damn, you know, the company looking bad, you still gotta come clean up that mess, man. Like that's your that's your name. And that's you why know? he said to Moses, when we left out of Egypt, he was gonna destroy us as a nation, you know, and build a nation out of Moses. But Moses pleaded to the Lord, say, Look, Lord, if you do that, the nations would say, Look, you you delivered them out of the land just to destroy him. So cause our name he had his name on us, you know. Mm -hmm. And and also, he promised it already. Yeah. So the Lord would be a liar, and we know the Lord cannot lie, man. Okay, you know, you know the Lord of Jake though, because that's how Jake is. Like, man, fuck him, man. I'm gonna just destroy. Him. You know, you already made, like you just be getting that mad, and it's like you know, you got Jake reminding you, like, Lord, you, you did, you said, the Lord repented, you know, yeah, all the time. The Lord was ready to ready to off you niggas all the time, man. Yeah, yeah dealing with Jake, man. Dealing with Jake. Two dealing with niggas, really. Yeah. Dealing with niggas. 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 Yeah. That's why. That's why the mm -hmm. Lord has the best plan going. He's going to save the elect. Ooh. And bring you niggas back through them seat of the elect. Yep. And it's, it makes perfect sense because yes. us us receiving the kingdom, it's only right that your your sons become the heirs. Your children are become heirs to the throne. You know, your, your specifically your sons, your daughters. You know, they become princesses. You know, they they get that glory through you. So how's the uh, how's our children gonna get the glory? The two thirds they gonna come back as our children. And you know? and, and and furthermore, you niggas never even seen the promised land, man. You niggas yeah. got killed. Yeah. All right, it was All the, the it was a, it was the firstborn, man. Yep. Okay, that's why you would never appreciate it too. You just yeah. be born into it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your ass died, died beforehand. Yeah. They're the same ones that's gonna die again this time. Straight up, beautiful. <laughs> Through death by pain, yeah. horrible deaths. This is uh, mm -hmm. e uh, back in Ezekiel 36 and 22. Therefore, saith unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I do, I do yeah, not yeah. this for your sakes, mm -hmm. O house of Israel, mm -hmm. but for my holy name's sake. Which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. So Lord got to clean up his name. Yeah. <laughs> really? This is all to, to, uh, to glorify Yahweh by Shai. You know, uh -huh. to, to know this is the power that created everything. And we being his people on the earth, represent him on the earth. So he's doing this for his name, you know. Yeah, cause they, they, these nations are mocking mocking the Lord. Really, when they mocking us. Like, is this, yep. is this your people? Yep. This, yep. This is, yeah, the Lord, hey man, the Lord got to ride, you know. Yep. Not just for us, for his name's sake, man. Like, I'm gonna show y'all the same the same ones that y'all laughed at and, and said, with, "Hey, you call niggas and spicks or these or these ain't the Lord's people or or, or um, this still people, you know this? Hey, man, the same people that the Lord with a remnant, the elect, because y'all never considered that the Lord always had a remnant saved, man. Yep. And he's gonna he's cleaning them up before you like the scriptures say. Hey, man, he's preparing that table before your eyes, man. You know, building up the all right, he's building up the elect, man. He's getting he's getting his men in order. Cause two thirds, they're not they're not his people on this side, man. Yeah. You know, they hey man, Esau, they belong to you. All right, they gonna take the chip. You know, they are their their souls are already embedded in this society. Yeah. And really, uh, years ago, a hey, uh, two thirds, their hearts never left Egypt all the way back to Egypt, man. 
their hearts never left there. All right, and you can see it today. This is the modern day spiritual Egypt, and you can I, I can see it. I look at our people now. I can see. I'm like, man, these two, their hearts never left yeah. there. The scriptures yeah. say that never. Not, not all Israel's of Israel. Yep. So even though they're Israelites, they don't have the mindset of being an Israelite. Like the Apostle Tahar was getting to the live show today. You are. It could have been a sit down one. I see today. He was pretty much saying, being becoming a uh, waking up to the truth. You start to change things. In, in, in your everyday life because your mind is changing, you know? Yep, yep. At one point, you was in the world, you would get the lineups, you would dress this way, then, then you start dressing differently. You start growing out your beard, you know, you start uh, carrying yourself a certain way, you stop eating pork, you start changing your diet stuff, so that, by by you having a different mindset, which is you um, being pure in the mind. Yeah, you start getting that knowledge. Yeah, it's like niggas, niggas in the world, so they start changing their diets and this and that, because they start getting knowledgeable about the types of food and what Esau actually do to it. And, and, and the bad, the, hey, the Lord gives gives you a guideline. The unclean food to eat and the clean food. These niggas going vegan. These niggas stop eating pork. All right, because they wasn't knowledgeable about it. So when when you come in here, man, you get high level knowledge. And if you really internalize that, and the Lord is really dealing with you, you start to really change the way you conduct yourself and the way you you go about things, man. Like the brother said, you stop getting lined up. You start you start eating 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 a better way. You know, you start conducting yourself more more uh, more as a gentleman. You know? What is it? Boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it. No, that's, a, that's straight to the point. You know, sum it all up. Okay. I'm going to continue on Ezekiel 36. Mm. This is how the Lord is going to actually glorify his name. It says, And I will sanctify my great name, which ye profane among the heathen, which ye have profane in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, and the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Because mm. he's going to change, he gonna change us, you know? It said we shall be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump. They're going to actually see us, the people that they, they thought were just regular Jakes, nobodies, mm -hmm. be changed into gods, you know? Yeah, the, yep. The Lord said that he's going to uh, close the breaches, yeah. you know, and, uh, and the fallen ruins of, of the house of David. All right. And we and we pray that we are we are part of the house of David. Sure. We're doing what the house of David would do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What does the house? What does the house of Saul do? They were building. They in the witchcraft. All these wayward doctrines, you know. They disobedient, basically. Yeah. They're from a different. Na we are a nation within a nation, man. Okay. It says, "For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries, and will bring you into your own land." Because I tell you that Matthew is the twenty-fourth chapter. He shall send his angels, and with the, and they shall gather yeah. together his elect from the four winds of the earth, from one end to the other. Yeah. It says, "Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, Ooh. and ye shall be clean." From all your filthiness, then the Lord gonna He gonna clean us up, man. Them new bodies. Yeah, yeah new that's body. all I'm thinking, yep. bro. You know, my spirit. <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna go. Up. He's already cleaning us up with this word right bro. now, and it's gonna physically manifest into those new bodies. God, yep. God, God. It says, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit. Will yeah, that I that new heart was never promised to any other nation. All right, so you're not gonna you other nations not gonna enter in. All right, with the brothers going into that new that new heart. The fleshy hearts, man. The hearts that you can't sin. The Lord never made covenants with any of y'all, man. Any of you either nations, the Lord never made like an actual, like, legitimized co uh, uh, covenant. God. You know, no Israelite covenants, man. He never made no prom Like, you feel me? That's why the curses is only on us. And that's why the blessings, which were set for us to already uh, uh, receive, is going to take take full course, man. And it's going it's going to be it's going to be embedded on us forever. You know. It says, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, mm -hmm. and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you the heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Lord going to turn us to the righteous robots, yeah. you know. He going to take away that stony heart, meaning the, the, <laughs> way, we, the way Moses received the law written in stone. We had to keep it, Um, it, it was pretty much it was set up It was set up before the foundation of us. Of the earth for us to go off, not to be able to keep the laws 100%. That's that's why right now it's uh, what is it, it says, and I believe what uh, Joshua 4 and 11 uh, rehearse the righteous acts. God, yep. Cause we can't keep this, five. man. Yeah, Judges 5 and 11. Oh, it's like it, 5 and 11. Yeah, I was yeah. off a chapter. It's like it. We can't, come on, man. Yeah. We can only, we can only like meditate upon the law, and, and then we got demons hopping on us in this damn flesh, you know. So we can only do it to the best of our ability. And that's why it's not just about the law, statute, and commandments, which it really is. It's about the faith in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, oh that means you willingly go off, man. You fight. It's all about a fight, man. Doing, doing the best you can. Fight the good, fight the faith. Yeah. Uh, 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 what? How does it say? A wise man uh, 
slip uh, slip it seven times to get back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proverbs twenty four and sixteen. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna why is it written like that? Cause we're gonna slip and fall. The main part about it is is getting back up and getting up stronger and enduring and enduring to the very end. And pushing on. Yeah. Yeah, maintaining your integrity. Yeah. I think Paul said he said that that which I do I do not that mm -hmm. which I don't want to do I do. So pretty much. Yeah. Being in his flesh, we susceptible to demons for company, you know? Yeah, Paul said he was a, a wretched man. Mm -hmm. He called himself wretched man. And, and really, if you think about it, it wasn't really written about, the, you know, the desire. Cause that's not important. The things that they, Paul was really going through in the flesh, why he was cussing, why he was getting on himself that, that, that hard, you know? The, the point being is that, hey, man, it, it, like the scriptures say, there, there's no temptation that's uncommon to men. Okay. We all get tempted in the flesh, man. We feel like that, you know? No matter what the temptation is, man, it's always a constant battle between the flesh and the spirit. Yet, who's putting up that that fight? That's why what would Paul say, fight the good fight of faith. Who's putting up that good fight? From the apostles and elders on down, the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know? Not these niggas. And, and, and what the spirit was getting on to, hey, man, it's, it's coming even more out. Not a lot of you guys that's, that's amongst amongst the, the apostles and the elders and that's in these camps, man. A lot of you guys are just weekend intellects, man. Now, now you're going to get exposed that you were never one of them. Yep, that's it. You were just, you were just basically just being, a, you was crept in unaware, really. You just trying to play it cool, and you've been now the Lord about to start exposing you, because mm -hmm. you, you've been trying to get by, being real slick, whatever. However, you've been making it, um, keeping your hands in your pocket, and nobody exposing you. <laughs> Somehow, now the Lord, he, he tired of your ass just sitting around that. Why the fuck are you here? Like, God, you're, you're leaving. And a little leveling, leveling up the whole look. So the Lord about to get your ass out. Whoever's not doing what you need to do, the Lord just gonna get you, expose you. You guys with your hands in your pockets, you think that nobody see you. You playing it all smooth. The Lord, know, the Lord see you, man. The Lord's gonna expose you, and that's all that's happening through the Spirit. The Lord, he's that's why the Lord sits in the house of uh, Israel, man. Yeah, he's, he's like it, like it says what in Revelation three and fifteen, I believe. He's gonna spew out, spew you out of his mouth, man. Yeah. yeah. You're not, you're not hot. You're not even cold, man. You just want to be lukewarm and shit, man. Trying to blend in. All right. You Can I bring out a scripture? Go ahead. This is uh, Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares. And that's what happened. You, you knew that you crept in unaware. You, you thought it was, you seen it and heard about it. And you just wanted to get down on some Black Panther shit. <laughs> just because you, it's, it's the truth. But you knew that, like, it, it looked cool as well. You, so you could go around telling, hey, I'm an Israelite. You know, we kings you know this and that we we're kings and queens people. this is like that but it's not it's more than that man this is actual this is this is our heritage man this is our life this is our livelihood this is our this is our salvation man and you taking that as a light thing and see how about you shot man he's doing all this for his name's sake you know We was talking about how the elect were predestined and ordained their 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 order, okay? You think it's, that's why you came into this? The Lord ordered your ass to come in here and be a nigga, so you can get a further condemnation unto yourself, so that you can fulfill this scripture. You know? Done. It yeah. says, oh, you want to say something? Wrong? No, uh, yeah, you're basically gonna be cursed to the Lord, come. Yeah. Like brothers always say, it. and, and um, Maranatha and Athema. Athema Maranatha. Yeah, Athema yeah. Maranatha. Yeah. You think it's a curse to the Lord come? All you do is to, like, the, really the Lord, like the brother said, the Lord brought you in just to get you further condemned so you can get even a harsher judgment because he, he really hates you. Who have resisted the will of the Heavenly Father? Yep. The Lord just called, hey, many are called, but few are chosen. The Lord called y'all in because y'all were ordered to come in here just so you can spy out the liberty, so you can be a crept in on the wear and get marked even more. And, and, and to fulfill prophecy. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's all about it's all about the prophecies. This is your prophecy. All right? You know, you, hey man, <laughs> the Lord's, hey man. Go, go back to where we started off. Let me, can I finish that and then we jump right to that, bro? Yeah, yeah. Yes, turning the grace of the Most High into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power and our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And you deny him by not a what? It works. Woo! Hey, brother, you took it out of my mouth. I know. All right, go ahead, bro. <laughs> this is uh, Sirach back to where we started, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord mm. and put yeah. not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come oh, forth. Man. 
Yeah, and that's what's gonna happen. That suddenly that rap gonna hit you, man. You do, you do over there playing around. You make you tarrying. Or you make, you over there playing games. Isaiah fifty five and six. The, how long? How long have the apostles been telling y'all to go harder and do video? Man, that's fucked oh, up. Man. Like that's real. That's fucked up. You still up. got niggas not even doing three videos. It's just that you ain't getting exposed. So the Lord, the Lord's about to start killing you, niggas. That's all that's gonna happen, man. Yeah, no doubt about that. He said, for, uh, he said, for, um, in First Peter four seventeen, it's gonna start at the house of Israel, man. And that's this is your prophecy, man. Is that not a prophecy in the scriptures? Mm-hmm. The Lord gonna kill you, niggas. You playing around? You make you tarrying day to day, man. You're not even doing. You're not even doing bare minimum. That's how lazy you niggas. That's are. Luke. That's being lukewarm, man. We were saying that earlier. You yep. get to a point where you 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 had the desire when you brought that beautiful scripture, okay? You know the uh, uh, the slothful desire. desire. Yeah. Kill of him. yeah. Cause it gets to a point where you're not even doing the bare minimum no more. You don't even notice it. Your hands just refuse to labor. <laughs> like it's, it's the spirit is on. It's not even the spirit's not even on you no more. You just refuse you to labor. You become a reprobate. Oh, oh. A nigga. Yeah. You just revert it back to a nigga. <laughs> Basically. Oh man. See, I'm gonna continue. It says, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Yeah, you feel it? Oh, that's yeah. back to the precept. Yeah. You gonna be destroyed. Hey, bro, what precept was that again? Break it out. Break, break it out one more time, man. Out. God damn. Bring it back out, man. All right, all right. You you comfortable? You feel like yeah, I'm killing it. Yeah, he'll act. Yeah, that's the nigga, man. So that the Lord's gonna start. He gonna start. The Lord's gonna start weeding you, you fucking slothful niggas out of the body, man. All right, that's just what's gonna. That's what's gonna happen. If you don't like. If you don't like cursing, really, just put a gun to your head. I don't. I don't yeah. care. Kill right? yourself, nigga. You talking about? Hey, remember the spirit we was talking about before you left the house today? Yeah. Hey, man. Stop playing, man. Hey, man. Kill yourself. All right. Bullshitting. You know. The niggas already killing yourself slowly. Die. Verse 21 and 25, mm. the <clears throat> the desire of the slothful kill of him, for his hands refuse to labor. Mm. And in our security, what what men not desire? It says, it's back in Sirach uh, 5, I'm sorry, the top 5 and 7. Jake Wallet. <laughs> Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. You feeling, you feeling secure? When you had some crib just chilling, you a lazy nigga. You, you just, you just show up for the weekends, and then you just dip out right after, right after camp. Oh. Or you even might hang out. Oh, yeah, just you chill. might just hang out, just kick it. That's their favorite part. Yeah, That's their favorite time yeah. is to yeah. hang out, bro. Just They're not gonna leave. Hang out, talk shit. Yeah, you, you know, get put up on high level game. You know yeah. what I mean? A nigga, just being a complete nigga, just sitting around, just talking all day. Don't want to do no work though. Your hands just refuse the labor. They say you want to do it. You, hey, you want to do a show? Like, oh, um, I think I gotta go. I gotta do this. Hey, gotta... a nigga go home. He drunk. He feeling good. A nigga like, yeah. show up late to camp and just just be like, yes, like you know, he saw him. Blah blah the kids. And then he be like, well, I'm a fellowship. I'm gonna hang out with brothers. Your favorite time, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. Yeah, just, just to be a nigga. Yeah, just to be a nigga. You can drink. Feel cool. Be comfortable. Let that same dude who. Tell that same dude when you when before before you show up, say like, hey, we are gonna do a show before we uh before we fellowship, and then something gonna pop up like, oh man, I got an emergency, I gotta deal with. I'll just lock it. Jake might Jake probably slide by later on. I'll just lock it if I miss the show though. Yeah, so, yeah, you got all type of you. Your hands just refuse to. Leave. He gonna come in. He gonna come in with a bottle and all that too. Yeah, yeah you know, try to give you a gift. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> and perish in a day of vengeance. Yeah. In a day of vengeance, man. Oh, you know what? Hey, get Isaiah 66 and 15, man. That day of vengeance is, is going to creep up on you niggas, man. Okay? Um, who got it? I got it. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought Jake was rich. Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Oh, slacky, it's slacky. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Isaiah 66 and 15. That's the spirit. Yeah, go. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Uh-huh. To render his anger with fury. Yeah, his anger. He's going to be mad at you slothful ass niggas, man. Yeah. The, the, the render his anger and fury. Go ahead. And his rebuke with flames of fire. His rebuke. You niggas are getting rebuked right now, and you're not gonna take it. So here it is. Uh, men are rebuking you. 
through this. Really, it's Yahweh, Yahweh Bashamal Shai through his men. All right, uh, rebuking and exhorting you to tell you, hey, nigga, get to work, nigga. I see you, 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 you got a job to do, and your ass is sitting. You sit. You, you had a break. You, you still taking an extra long break. Yeah. You taking an extended break, man. Cause really, we say fuck them. We working. You yep. know, it's not us though. It's the spirit of the Lord getting on you, and, and really, brothers being brothers from the apostle and elders on down, like really showing true love. We know, we know, we working. You know, we know we need to go harder according to the work we're doing. Cause we, we, we have standards for ourselves, okay? Really, we, we tired of you niggas being around and you not working, yeah, man. Yeah, we hate niggas. We, we over yeah, here bust, busting and sweat, and then we look back and your ass is sitting around. But that's the worst thing, that's too. The worst that's shit. the worst thing, bro. Yeah, that make you hella mad. If you on a job, he the only one nigga not doing shit, and he just, we still getting the same thing. Nigga smiling, you. nigga got the iPod in, you know, yeah. dancing and shit, sipping, you know, playing. And then he gonna come with you, talk to you, talk like it's, it's, like it's cool. His, no, yeah. fuck that. The Lord tired of that, man. That's why the Lord, about, that's why the, the Lord put the spirit on the apostles, start going harder. And you got the Lord about to start killing you niggas, really. Yeah. yeah. The niggas gonna start falling out, and after you fall, you already know what's after that. You gonna bug out, and then you, the Lord gonna kill you in your security, like and the scripture, brother. Through the up. spirit, man. I'm gonna just throw this out there, all right? Really, certain you guys not even gonna get a chance to fall out or back out, man. The Lord's gonna kill your ass, Ooh. you know. Yeah. And then you just gonna be another testimony. Yep. Straight Damn. judgment, yeah, that's you know. Through the spirit. Yep. Fuck, fuck, bowing down. And the Lord is done with all that shit, man. The Lord is just gonna start killing you niggas while you're still bullshitting in the camps, man. Yep. To kill you. Cold, cold heart, kill you. Throw you in jail. Have a hor horrible judgment happen to you too when you can't even make it out there no more. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bullshit. Yep. He ain't gonna wait for you to be, uh, cause Why? you, you being, uh, lukewarm falling, just leaving. Why? But Lord, he gonna be hot. He gonna put fire on your ass and say, like, look, nigga, I'm done with you. Why? And, right. and the spirit gonna let, let and the spirit's gonna be cause we're spiritual men the apostles from the apostles and elders on down and the spirit is going hey man that was the nigga and everybody gonna know your works yeah, that was those that was niggas. close to you those in your camp they gonna look at your was, page I, I told them <laughs> I was I had a lot of, I had a lot and we had multiple councils with them we yeah. got them multiple warnings go harder yep yeah. alright it's yeah. gonna be another testimony unto the flock you never took heed yep so the lord just go the lord don't he, he don't wanna hear shit he just gonna kill you now like the bro said, when, he, when the niggas starting to get start getting judgment and they get put to death, you gon' like the bro said, you go to their YouTube page, it's gonna be <laughs> Nam video on there. All you gonna see is probably if any if anything a like uh, video. Yeah, he gonna re upload. He gonna re upload two black bitches fighting or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, cause like it, like the apostle Ryan lost said this video like. If you're not really about it, you can leave. But the Lord, He gonna kill you before a lot of you niggas had an opportunity to leave. Yeah, you yeah, niggas are too pussy about. to leave. Yeah, you niggas is too pussy to leave. Just leave. I don't give a fuck, really. Yeah. We don't, we don't care. You can leave right now, man. This ain't. We don't we ain't here. Fuck it. Yo, we don't even know you. You don't do shit. Nobody see you. You're not gonna be missed, bro. Nothing. What is there memorable about you? You know. You don't even exist, really. You're like just with, there. Don't you don't exist. Like, like with Tracy. Go ahead, bro. Tracy, you was only good for a fucking a laugh, nigga. What is really memorable about you, nigga? You know, and really, nigga, you what? You you not that damn funny, man. All right, we're funnier. I'm funnier than you, nigga. Yeah, 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 so who the fuck cares? All right, you don't have the spirit on you. You know, you wasn't. You was slothful. You never was working. You yeah. never. You never was. You never. You want to go meet halfway? <laughs> Brother was willing to meet your ass. 85, 90 percent. You yep. didn't. You fuck you, nigga. He was the exact nigga we was just going into it, like we was just talking. The nigga that wanted fellowship but not do shit. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll show up That's and kick nigga. it, but he don't want to do no no videos, no nothing. He just want to sit back and kick it, like, oh, slide. I'm already on. Let's just let's just like you know let's just chill. Jake already on. All right, uh, continue. Oh, you got a precept. Bring I got that precept. Pre I got a quick precept. This uh, sir, uh Ecclesiastes. This is in the Bible, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor yeah. the years draw nigh. So you're supposed to remember y'all about Shemi Shai right now, man, before the evil days draw nigh. Because you over there playing games like the other uh, scripture the brother brought out in, um, in Sirach, the fifth chapter. You're going you gonna to be destroyed, man. Because you're, ter you, you're, you're t um, putting it off from day to day. So you over here, you supposed to be seeking the Lord right now before the evil days come. But you know a nigga gonna be a nigga at the end of the day, because yeah. niggas always playing games. The only time they want to call on the Lord is when, like it says in Proverbs, when you when you get in that calamity on your ass yep. and the Lord judging you. That's when you want to call on His name. Yeah, the only time you want to get right when the fire on your ass. You know, fuck that. It says, "When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, 
while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. So, say, so after you just abuse the world with the Lord told you ass not to do, you know, abuse the fucking world just being a complete demon. All of now, all of a sudden, you you all worn out from, from being a demon. All right, Satan has have rejected your ass. You know, now you want to turn to the Lord. It don't work like that, man. You know, you're done. What is that script where it says something about they shall seek me early? Yep, yep. Uh, uh, Hosea in the fifth chapter, five okay, fifteen, God. I believe. I'll it's bring that out. Security, they shall seek me early. Yeah, yeah, God, God. It's all about you being in your security, man. You see, that's what yeah, you're being comfortable. Yep. You got comfortable in Babylon. I got a precept real quick before we bring on that Hosea. Yeah. This is uh, Proverbs eight and seventeen. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. And it's obvious that the Lord loves us because what? He gave he gave it this knowledge was some understanding. You know? He he constantly delivered us from, from every temptation and every every uh, uh obstacle that's that's thrown before us. Even if we we looking at it like, damn, how the fuck I'm gonna get out of this or oh my god. You know, the Lord always always got us to 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 where we can always continue we can continue uh putting forth this work. You know, that's the only reason. We, what the fuck you thought you? So you continue being a demon, continue continue being lukewarm or whatever the fuck. No, to so take that as a testimony, okay, and, and, and to strengthen your faith, man. You know, and, and, to, and man, to put that forth into this word. You know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, brother, I have more. On that. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That was it. That All right. Matter of fact, I can just keep on. Go <laughs> ahead. Verse three. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinding cease. That's spirit. So, so when it actually physically mani uh, manifests, that Babylon is through, destroyed. All right. Yeah, that's when Jake don't want to get on. Oh, that's why right. we're gonna cap off of this through the spirit. God, God. God. Just worry how you know it's gonna be too late. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They only want to do that when you're starting to get affected. When you actually starting to feel that affliction, when you can't get a job no more. Yo, yo, your bitch left you. How, how would you feel, yeah, you got Slacky? How would you feel if you telling your bitch like, yo, man, you better, you better appreciate me, you know? You better stop dressing up like a hoe, all right? You better start getting the order. You better start, you know what I mean? Cooking, doing this and that. You threatening a bitch, all right? You know? You know, Jake might have to run. Whatever you have to do, that's that's between you and your woman. We we're, we're the most size woman, all right? Jeremiah six and two. You giving out these threats and then uh, uh he's always gonna be there. He ain't going nowhere. Blah blah. blah. And then, and, then, and then cold cold turkey leave your ass and give you the cold shoulder, all right? Treat you like he never knew you, you know? Now you ready to get right, you know? That's the same way for Jake, all right? Oh, man, Lord, I'm serious. Oh, man, this shit's real. No, man, fuck that, man. That's some, that's some bullshit, man, you know? That's bullshit. You got it, all right? And the grinding cease because they are few. Yeah, that's what you niggas love America for. You got, oh, well, he saw, man, he love, man, he saw ain't that bad, man, he giving us jobs, you know, we get some women, you know, we can food, man, we, we good, man, you a fucking slave, dumbass nigga, even Edomites are slaves, <laughs> Esau don't care about his own people, who the yeah. fuck are you? He says, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Yeah, man, your, your, out, your outlook on, on, on Babylon, all right, on, on the brighter future, oh, man, this ain't gonna happen when in my generation, my kids will People really believe that, man. They, that, yeah. they really believe that. Hey, man. Not, they, they know the destruction is coming. They think it's not going to happen in their lifetime. Babylon is a hell of a drug, man. I'm going to say it like that. That's real. You being off that Babylon juice, man, you, you, you're you done. You know? You're liable for, for anything and to believe anything. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Yeah, they, oh, man, it's a spirit. I want to bring this up. Yeah, that's beautiful because these jobs are going out of business, and and, and, and what? Uh, recently, Tours R Us uh, uh, announced, and we brought that on our, our last show, I believe. Yeah. Tours R Us announced that they're closing all their stores in the United States in Babylon, yeah. and then their founder, the CEO, just died this week. Damn. Let's get it. <laughs> beautiful. Rocky Kodash, man. Done. Esau's fucking finished, man. Yeah. You know. That's all that's about to start happening is more of these. These major corporations like Toys R Us, Target, all these big stores, they all gonna just start shutting down. They, they gonna, gonna bankrupt. Yeah. Esau's through, man. What what you niggas don't get about that? And that's less that's thousands of jobs out the window. Just from that one company shutting down. Yep. It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. 
Yeah. yeah. Music's done, man. Let's just say, you know, everybody knows that, okay? So so this whole society completely is, is finished, okay? The economy, okay? The, the, the bread and circus, all right? Everything's done, okay? The Lord has completely taken the spirit out of this place, man. And he's about to destroy this place, man. Huh. Before pride comes up the downfall and, and destruction. It's the most proud proudest place on the earth, man. Okay? So the Lord is taking away your pride. What you have to be proud in, you know? Yeah, that was that was it on that. Yeah, let's end it off on here then, through the spirit. Hosea 5 and 15, sir. Yeah. This is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place. So they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, in their affliction, they will seek me early. And that's what Jake, that's what Jake likes to do. He likes to call on the Lord when all hell is on his ass, you know? Mm -hmm. When the most high brings that judgment, then he wanna get right. And like the brothers were saying, that judgment is gonna come hard on, on you uh, niggas that's lukewarm and don't wanna take this thing seriously, you know? Yep. The Heavenly Father's given us the most precious gift on the planet Earth. We got the truth. You gotta hold on to that and push that, you know? Push that to the congregation, because the more we push the work out, the more the elect is sealed, and the more closer we get to getting the fuck out of here, you know? Because the scriptures say um, in Revelations, I think it's uh, 7, hurt not the earth nor the sea, mm -hmm. nor the tree to where mm -hmm. we, have, we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead. Yeah. How are the servants being sealed through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this truth, you know? So the more that it's out there, the more the truth is being flooded, the more the elect is going to have a chance to see it because there's so much out there, you know? So that's why we got to, uh, matter if I read it again? This is uh, Hosea 5 and 15. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense huh. and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. Yeah, in their affliction when Jake is catching hell, that's when he's going to want to seek the Lord. But then at, at that point, it's going to be too late. You know? mm -hmm. the, the judgment is going to be set you know? because the grace period is now for Jake to get right, get themselves right. Because the Lord, we, we tell you the Lord is returning. America's about to be destroyed. The so-called white man is going into slavery. Famine of the word. Famine of the word is You're coming. You're not going to be able to you know? see us. The Heavenly Father's about to establish his, his order on the earth, the kingdom, you know? You want to be on the good side of the Heavenly Father in that time. You want to be uh, be pardoned from the judgments, you know? Yeah. That's where you got to go. Yeah, that's it. Unless you brothers want to. I'll be right up on that. Let's get it, man. Hey. Yeah, you wanna, so with yeah, that, we yeah. want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rokakodash. Double honors to the Apostle.